nice to meet you to this new episode of Wikbit. Here we have a CD player and the CD players from Philips. 16-bit linear dual digital analog converter and 4 times oversampling. The AK601. Hmm. A friend of mine said to me, please have a watch on it and if nothing happened, give it back. And I say, okay, no problem. <laughs> now we have a watch on it. <laughs> we turn it on and uh, lights coming on here. Oh. Oh, this is uh, quite slow. Maybe we change the belt after this. Ah, so, oh, after this time. <laughs> That's cool. I put the CD out and I open the the thingy. Wow, cool. The art of noise. The best of the art of noise. This is a cool CD. I remember it in the 80s. And well, we disconnected from the power. No screw here. Hmm. Holy ghost. What's happened here? Stolen or fallen out? We are disconnected from the power and we watch here. What's happened here? We disinstall this and that. And then we watch under the hood what's happened with it. Because tomorrow on Sunday we met us each other and I would like to give him the machine back as this time I can on this CDM2 machine or whatever, it's uh, with this, uh, you remember, with this Sichel, <laughs> the Sichel reader. Mm. It's quite cool, CD player. And um, also digital output, or oh, is this a remote jack? I think it's a remote jack. And we must open it first of all to, to fix the true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's happened. Uh -huh. And a little bit. Uh, uh -huh. We must open the tray first. Must open the tray first. And disconnecting this uh, from the from the from here from the plastic thing. Oh, it's glued. Hmm. Interest. Why? Why it is glued? Tell me that. We must shift it to the left we must shift it to the left and or to the right must shift it to the right okay so here we are we have this special thing at the front end we close the door and then pull it over now we can open the uh, this uh, this sounds aggressive but it's okay here we are. The first what we're gonna do is we deinstall this thingy here and um, cleaning it from inside. Oh, a lot of cold, uh, a lot of cold um, solder joints are here. What I see. <laughs> uh, shall we use that first and that after, or shall we open it? Shall we open it? Is that dangerous or not? because inside is a little bit dirty. Hmm. We can do it, we open it. And but uh, it's uh, it's with it's with feeling, I think. With feeling. I said with feeling. Look, ah, a little bit dirt. But okay. It's from the smoke or stuff like this. Hmm. We clean the inside and then we have the it's not a towel, it's a paper paper thing. And where is my Kleenex? Uh, stolen. How often are you using this Kleenex? <laughs> it's not Kleenex, it's clean air or stuff like this. Close this and I clean this inside. So, also clean it outside. Put this. Oh, it's cool like new if I do this the machine is 10 years younger I think so and if not then I'm guilty but I must think about what I'm for guilty uh, 
yes so and then oh, look the smoke it's the smoke direct smoke that you have in your lungs and if you don't stop the smoking you have it on your radio on your tv set on your blu-ray disc player and on your in your hi-fi stereo and so on uh, this will be not nice and here we go here we have only one uh, to do this uh, it's a little bit I must fiddling around and it's okay looks like good we have here also we can clean up here inside this so super now we must change the belt and the belt is here on the machine itself here is the belt but uh, we can remember we open this put the spring away the spring you must store and this head that we put away and then after this uh, I go out with the tray and you can have it here you remember it if you have your own machine you can repair that by yourself and now we're doing this gum look it's an egg it's looked like an egg yeah I'm searching a gum and um, I'm searching now this um, in our rubber belt box where is my rubber belt box hmm not here he said not here but I have it here and it's too what is this this is interest looks like interest is it too small or too, too straight huh too big ah that looks like good not so bad but the thickness is not so ah, too big okay i have found one and um, maybe i must search again another one this is super and what can that be is 45 or so 45 maybe 45 no 45 is too small <laughs> looks like only big but it's too small no 45 no 45 65 70 80s 80 80 it could be but yeah it's 80 or 90 could be 90 no 90 is too big it's 80 it's 85 i think and i must install this give this back and that also from the 80 the cd player is from the 80s and the ring is also 80 it's a little bit smaller it's not so it's not so not so that, that dimension what i'm thinking but okay it's it's super and you must also uh, move it to the right position it should not move uh, from uh, one um, position to the other I mean the quarter of this of this ring hmm okay super that worked That works, but it is not correct. Now it's correct. Now it's correct. So, and then we should solder uh, here on this on this special thing, and I give it back to the to the front end. I push it back into the front end. Look here. But we must also clean up here with this. I don't know what's called like in English, but 
Don't do that in front of the lens because the lens is dusty. No, it's not dusty. It's a little bit dust here and yeah. Watch as <laughs> here is more dust. Look at this. That we also must clean. <laughs> what shall I tell you? And I cleaned it first. So now we uh, install this. Install the front end. Look. Zack. Install the back and this one. And also the spring spring load mechanisms and um, you should uh, insert here and round here. Zack, it's finished. In the next step I would like to uh, install this segment frame. This is for the display and characters and if not characters then they have uh -huh. it's much so you must install it here and here. Nah, it's it's quite difficult I think. It's a little bit it's not How do you install that? How do you, ah, I understand. They kick that in. Look, clack. They kick that in. But also the, the, the solder joints are poor. I would like to show you this. I'm doing a focus now. Uh, not a focus, I'm doing a zoom. And if you can see that, I hope so. Look here, it's a little bit interruption here and or here. You do that, it's a little bit around. I don't know why, but it is so. We must sort of all, all is um, not si significant, not good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Now I must do the soldering here on this thing. Look, it's better to see. Uh, there. So 370 degrees Celsius and um, I have a little bit of issue here. I'm doing that um, in case of that, that could be interrupted, must not be, but could be. And this is for the for the quality. And this quality here we have was a, a blind hole. Hmm, this is not fun, really. You have it everywhere. This is the problem, you have it everywhere. It's not on one point, it's on all points. And I thought this now helps so there is no shortcut it. And display segments are folding out. If this is not soldered, and it's not cool if I give the machine back and said, hey, my segments are not viewable. You make it def you make it defect, you destroy it or stuff like this. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I must have a watch. I'm blind man. If you are in my age you are going blind. In the early days I see better, I see much better, but I'm blind today. I can see this 
because this is over 30 years old is working uh, and uh, but normal I'm blind I hope so now the machine is working and not defect <laughs> also the buttons are here you must solder it and then holding the next 20 30 years but if not then you have a, a big problem then you have a contact failure or you cannot press the button this is not a touch screen this is other technology this is the, from the older days but we are also from the older days and we thinking that CDs are should uh, run on our CD players I think it's okay and um, I hope so the defect is not so much of this Oops, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Schnapp, 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 okay, schnapp, schnapp, it's okay, and then we make a test, I hope so everything is working, hmm, making the schnappy test. Putting the power supply and now the failure starts to to come on. No, it's no failure. I don't think so. Yeah, display is coming. No disk is written on it. And here we go. I put first in this original CD. Initialize, okay, super, and um, play. What happened with play? What? Oh, what is here? <laughs> Cannot believe. Oh, okay. I see. Now it is running, uh, but uh, what, what happened is uh, the laser is really poor. I don't would like to pick them up the, the the current because on the end of the lifetime the laser will be not working anymore so good but um, the readability from the CD I clean the lens but hmm it's quite not good but now it reads and in the end I must say it's a nice machine and we close the deck. I clean it also inside with the with that what I don't know what it's called like. <laughs> yeah, it's quite complicated. Someone have it open but um, we don't know. I think it's a quite good machine but um, the laser is poor and it's the end of the life from this machine because the CDM laser never exists and you cannot change it. I would like to repair that on my 473 but uh, doesn't work. That was a big issue and what shall I say? And now the AK601 from Philips is finished from my friend. Only a belt was to change and display is cleaning and I clean it inside also I clean the lens but in the end of the game is the laser is over the light of the laser emission is too low I think and the lifetime is is finished <laughs> um, for this CDM4 or CDM2 uh, drive uh, I would like to change the laser but that was not possible this is impossible to get a laser like this where the ground is on the cathode and mm, this is a big issue for this laser I would like to change it with other laser but the regulation doesn't work and so um, I give it back we see us each other and go to a coffee <laughs> If you're interested in my channel, please subscribe 
and or sponsor me at Patrons. I have one patron now. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. And I say thank you for watching.